when we first saw Savo, it was probably approximately six to seven weeks ago, and at that time, Savo had a tick probably three months prior, three to five months prior to that, and he scratched his face pretty bad, and so we were man conservatively managing his face, and so um, we proceeded to go out to his exhibit, and we anesthetized him out there, and um, performed. We were going to planning on lancing his abscess, and when we, we realized it was not infected, um, we were concerned that it looked more like a mass. And so at that time, we performed a biopsy, and the biopsy came back um, a malignant melanoma. Because of the size of it and the location, elected to do, to do radiation therapy first to try and shrink the mass to a much more usable, workable size to then if we needed to do surgical intervention later, we would do surgical intervention at a later date. And so today, Savo received his fourth dose of radiation, his final dose of radiation, and the mass is continuing to shrink and get smaller. And our hopes is in four weeks that it'll be either completely resolved or small enough that we can make a small incision to remove that mass completely and remove his melanoma completely. And since it's a very treatable type of cancer, and once we remove this lump, uh, he should live the rest of his life quite happily and comfortably. Uh, and as far as we can tell, we um, can't find anything in the literature or on the listservs about anybody else giving radiation to a lion or um, having a cutaneous melanoma uh, in a lion. This is the first reported case that we can find. So we're going to be writing it up as a case study uh, once the treatments and stuff are done and we see how he, how he does. Uh, so hopefully it will help uh, future uh, you know, cases that come down with melanoma, although this may be a once in a lifetime you know, treatment. This is all quite new to us. We've never experienced uh, treating a cancer before. Uh, yeah, the learning curve for us. And that's another thing. The knowledge we have are gaining from our animals is used all over the world for big cats. We have a large collection of cats, and we have a facility that takes information and writes papers, etc. So we're very, very lucky to have this facility. And for the cats and for cats other than ours.